So today I'm going to be making another reaction to German food. This one's called German food and what you should eat in Germany. This is from Volta's World. I uh, always love his content. So wanted to check this out and see some more German food. Of course, I made my own video trying German food here in Malaysia a couple weeks ago. So if you want to see that, you can go check out on my, my channel. I mean, just look at this food right away. This looks fantastic, man. This is what German food is all about. German food is top quality, man. Let's check this out. And tell me about hey this dish Hey there, fellow travelers. Soap. Mark here with Walters World. We're in Bamberg, Germany. This is one of my favorite places to come in the entire world and definitely my favorite town to come to in Germany. And one of the reasons why is because I get to eat the white sausages with my German mm. Rauch beer or smoked beer. And so a lot of people ask me, Mark, what should I eat when I go places? So today's video is about what you should eat when you go to Germany. But what you should know is Germany does have various foods by the regions. It's mm. not just bratwurst everywhere. Well, yes, there are bratwurst everywhere, but it's not just bratwurst. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the food that you should have when you're here. Some of the meats, the side dishes, desserts, drinks, and things like that. So let's get started. And the first thing you should know about eating in Germany is they love pork, mm. okay? And when you come here, the one thing you should have, especially in Bavaria, you're going to have Haxa or Schweinhaxa. It's pig, pig knuckle, knuckle okay? It's a bit, you'll see the bone from the leg, and then it'll be the meat wrapped around it, rotating around, it is just to die for. Yeah, man, especially with that beer or that beer or light lager thing here, man, that actually looks amazing. So I guess that's what was in the initial image. Tell me how this tastes. Uh, I guess in most people in Germany have had this. Tell me when you would eat this. This looks like the sort of thing you would eat, like, is a roast. Like we have oh, in the UK, we always have like a roast dinner on a Sunday. This looks like a perfect kind of roast dinner type dish. With the crackling on the outside, the crackling, mm, you yeah. gotta have that. Also, if you like the Haxa, there's a thing, if you're here in Oberfranken, where Bamberg is, there's a dish, it's pork shoulder. That's also mm. good, okay? Schleufler. Is that potatoes? And then if you like more like a grilled pork kind of steak, you have a Schweinbraten, which is good. Now, if you want a little bit different one with a little bit different flavor, they have Sauerbraten, which is uh, a pork that's cooked with spices and stuff like that to give more of a sour taste, hence the mm. Sauerbraten. It's not really that sour, sour, but it is pretty good. Also, if you're going with the, with the pork, obviously it's gonna go into the most popular things you have in Germany are the sausages. We actually have a video talking about the best sausages to eat in Germany, but I'll give you a few of them. One, um, you're gonna to wanna to have a Thuringer Bratwurst. Thuringer it's Bratwurst. important that's a Thuringer Bratwurst. That's the best one out there. And you eat it with mustard, like a spicy mustard. Other ones, if you're here in Bavaria, you might have Nuremberger Bratwurst, which are these little tiny ones, like the breakfast sausages in the US. Or if you don't want a pork version, they actually have a veal sausage. It's called Weisswurst. It's a white sausage that you have with sweet mustard. Here in Bavaria, you eat a lot of sweet mustard. And that's mm. one of the things. When you look at condiments here, Germans love their mustard, okay? There could be spicy mustard, mild mustard, or sweet mustard. They have all the different ones out there, and a lot of it will depend on what you're eating, okay? And tell me, yeah, what's your favorite sausage from Germany and why? I mean, just going by looks based on the ones he showed there, that first one, that thick one, that is like definitely the one I would go for. And tell me, you mentioned veal there. Uh, as well as pork, obviously. What about other meats? Do you have like beef sausages, chicken sausages? Even here in Malaysia, they have those because it's a Muslim country. Then you go everywhere. The sausages are always either chicken or beef, but you also get turkey sausages as well. Actually, not too bad, but nothing compares to a good pork sausage. So pork usually has mustard with it, all right? Now, the vice versa, the, the, the veal sausage, really popular down here, really good. Okay. Now, another sausage you might have if you're in Berlin, it's called a currywurst or a curry mm. sausage. Yeah, that's it's the a one chopped I tried. up bratwurst so drowned in curry ketchup with curry spices on top. It took me a year to try it in Germany. I lived in Berlin and I'm glad I did because when I finally did, I fell in love with it. Mm. Now, another thing you might look at is, Mark, okay, I'm going to go to these beer halls. I want to go there. What should I eat when I'm there? Well, before you order those pork dishes I said before, what you're probably going to get is a bretzel or a pretzel. It's a big, soft pretzel. They don't do the, the, the bars, they don't do the crunchy ones like we have in the US, the little ones. You have the big soft pretzels with your beer. And what you're gonna drink when you're here, obviously you're gonna drink beer here in Germany. And the thing you should know is you don't drink, it's Gross not like in the US, we have like a Budweiser that's everywhere or even a Sam Adams that's everywhere. 
in Germany, you drink the local beer. So here in Bamberg, I'm drinking the Rauch beer, the smoked beer that's from here. When I'm in Bavaria, or sorry, when I'm in Munich, I'm drinking the Munich beers. When I'm up in Berlin, I'm drinking Berliner Kindle. You have these things, and there's different styles of beer here in Germany. You have Hefeweizen or Weiss beer, which is a wheat beer, which is a bit thicker, but tastes really good. If you go to Cologne, you drink a Kulsch. And the thing is, they come in different sizes. Those big, huge beer mugs you see that you think you should always drink from, that's Bavaria. And that's one liter. If you go and drink a Kolsch in Cologne, it's 0.2 liters. It's a little tiny glass. So there's different ways you drink the beer here and different styles you're going to have. I guess the only problem with the big beers, as much as that, to me, is someone who enjoys drinking beer, just looks fantastic, especially living in a hot country. Having a huge beer like that and just sitting and enjoying it appreciating it is what it's all about but the only problem with something like that is getting a bigger beer means you need to be, drink quicker to really appreciate it when it's nice and cold you don't want it getting warm by the time you get to the bottom of it is that a problem that people come across uh, but obviously like they're, he's saying there like every region of Germany has its own beers and lag, uh, like alcoholic drinks like that but like how would you know which one to choose Do you, would you always if you're, even if you're from Germany going to another another region, would you always ask the bartender, like, what's the local beer? What's the, the most, like, popular beer? Uh, or do you just learn that beforehand and just go? I guess when I travel ar around Asia, I always try, like, the local beers. Uh, but you know what that is because it's, like, the most commonly stocked. Uh, but, yeah, tell me what's the best beer from your region as well. And we actually have a video talking about the different styles of beer in Germany. That can help you out. But what you should know is Germany isn't just beer. If you go in the Rhine region, or for me, the Mosel region with Kochum and stuff, there's fantastic wine as well, the Riesling wines. Mm. You get a sweet or dry white, okay? That's what you're gonna be drinking in that region. Anyway, we talked enough about the drinks. Let's see the, the food you're gonna have. So we talked about the pork. Other things, if you're not in, big into pork, you will, well, we have one that'll transition between the two. You have the schnitzels out there. Mm. And schnitzel could be either from pork, or it could be from veal, or it might be from chicken. And the different schnitzels, the typical Vienna schnitzel or Viennese one, yeah, it's from Vienna, but the Germans love it too. You're gonna have it, it's a uh, veal cutlet, breaded and then fried. Again, it could be pork, or it could be chicken. There's one that I like, it's called Jäger schnitzel, and that is the schnitzel with a cream mushroom sauce on top. Mm. It's fantastic. Mm. Now the thing is, okay, you know you're gonna get pork, and, or you might get fish, like you might have baked, head, oh, here it's head, yeah, so tell me more about schnitzel. I don't actually know. I've had like ones called escalope, which is like, I think a similar breaded like meat. But the schnitzel looks so good. And I found another German restaurant here in Kuala Lumpur. It's a bit like fancy, fancier and a bit more upmarket than the other one I went to. And one of their things they're famous for is their schnitzel. So maybe I'll make another video trying that one as well. Tell me what the best way to eat the schnitzel is. Enjoy. As in what condiments, what sauce, what goes with it. Or a, a chicken, a baked chicken or grilled chicken is really good. And you'll see that on the, like, on the side of the rows, people will be selling those things too. But what are you gonna have with it? Well, just know that there's a lot of potato-based side dishes here. Yes, you will have German, German potato salad, which they just call potato salad here, or kartoffel salat. Okay, you have that. Also, you have a lot of dumplings here. Maybe it's potato-based dumpling, a klöse, well, a or a zimmer klöse which is like a bread dumpling. Heck, there's even dessert dumplings here you can have. Or if you want to be really adventuresome, you can have a liver dumpling. Liver clothes. Liver clothes zuppa, there's liver dumpling soup, which actually isn't too bad to try when you're here. Now, some of the other things you look mm. at in terms of... I never knew dumplings. All the videos I've watched so far not really mentioned dumplings in Germany, but that's quite interesting. I guess, like, again, living in Asia, dumplings are everywhere. Like, every type of dumpling you can imagine they've got, but... <coughs> not seen those bread ones before tell me what like German dumplings you like and why side dishes with the potato side of thing is you have spätzle spätzle is the German noodle it's a potato based noodle really good you can have it as a meal by itself you put to have it with cheese the Käse spätzle that's really good other things you might have or if you like tater tots or mashed potatoes imagine tater tots and mashed potatoes had a baby mashed potatoes fried in a little ball those are called croquetten mm. very good to eat here a nice little side dish i think i had now, something you know, like that in amsterdam about all these before carbs, so. alcohol and potatoes oh and the bread here the rolls are fantastic get the rolls okay and we talked about all this really heavy food but mark i need a little movement i need some vegetables well yes the big vegetable you're gonna have here cabbage comes in a lot mm. in many different forms 
yes, you do have your sauerkraut or sauerkraut that's here. But you know what? If you don't like the sour version, they have rotko or blaukraut, which is red cabbage, which is a sweet one. It's red cabbage with apples, and it's a really nice complement to a lot of the dishes that's out there. Also, there's even a viasink, which is like pureed cabbage that you can have. Lots of different things out there. Germans do like their salads and stuff like that, but you should know if you order a tomato salad, it's not tomato and lettuce, it's tomato, okay? We're getting towards the end of our meal. We gotta think what kind of dessert should we have here in Germany? Yes, and then you do have the traditional apple strudel. Mm. You can have that with vanilla sauce on top. They sell that almost everywhere. You'll be fine with that one. It's always good. And yeah, you can, if you've not seen my video where I tried German food here in Malaysia, I got apple strudel and it was just absolutely insane how big it was. You should go check out that video and see the size of it. Uh, I actually went back there last weekend and got it again, man, because it was so good. Got that and some other other good stuff. Another the, thing you might see restaurant. is Black Forest cake. This chocolate cake with cherries in it from the Black Forest region. They sell it around Germany now too. Um, that's also kind of a popular thing for tourists. Black Forest Another Gatton, thing I that's recommend you trying, if you want to have a, like a sweet snack on the go, you have Ooh. Kaffen. There's like these little fried balls of dough. Very Kaffen. popular at Christmas time too, but they can be big or little fried balls of dough with powdered sugar on top. So yes, your shirt will be covered with a powdered sugar. I feel like I can already smell them, man. Like I've been to like some sort of German Christmas markets, but not in Germany and other places in, in Scotland and in other places in Europe. And like those fried donuts, those hot fried donuts covered in sugar, man, you can like, the smell of it is almost as good as the taste but of it as well. But they are fantastic. If you're like grandma used to make homemade donuts, that's what they're like. And the thing is though, with desserts in Germany, okay, you want to eat what is seasonal. Right now we're here at strawberry season, so Ooh. the strawberry cake, phenomenal. And that's the thing, in Germany, they like their seasonal foods. So whatever you get, if you're here in Spargel season or asparagus season, I hated asparagus until I came to Germany during asparagus season and I fell in love with it. So you'll have asparagus soup, asparagus wrapped in bacon, asparagus on your tenderloin, all kinds of stuff. So if you know it's a certain season, make sure you eat the, the in-season food produce first because that's always fantastic. Mm. Now, I know we've talked about the drinking and the eating, and, but what are you going to do late night? What are my late night snacks here in Germany? Well, yes, yeah, you might be able to find a bratwurst stand mm -hmm. that's open late night or a little kiosk, but what the Germans typically get late night and they eat a lot of times is the donor kebab. So what is this kebab? When you get a kebab, basically you have a piece of bread, well, you have like a pita bread kind of thing, and they slice it open and they open it up, okay? And they fill it with lettuce, tomato, onion, and then they have different kind of sauces, kreuzer sauce or white sauce or curry sauce, whatever kind you want. But the thing is, the meat they put in, when you're walking around Germany and you see these donut kebab stands, you'll see this kind of stick. And there's all this meat on it, and you're like, what kind of meat is that? They basically layered meat on top of each other and compressed it down into this like big, huge kind of thing. meat on a spit. And they shaved that yeah, off yeah, yeah. and put it in there with a little more sauce. It sounds like it's going to be gross, but it is fantastic. So good, the man. Germans love it. The tourists love it. It's all over Europe. It is great. And that's going to be your drinking food late night is a donor kebab or a quick snack. Okay. So those are just some of the little things to eat when you're in Germany. We've got a lot more. We try to get some specialty ones, what you should eat here in Bavaria, what you should eat in the north, all kinds of things. And it's all. Yeah. Tell me more about those foods. And I don't know, obviously he's in Bavaria. Is that are those foods more common in Bavaria than other places? Uh, like especially the kebab for an example, like what other late night snacks are there around Germany in the different regions? Uh, how does the pork compare? How does the beer compare? But honestly, man, I love these German food videos because German food is so good. Like it's, before making these videos, I never really too, knew too much about German food, but the more I watch it, the more I see the diversity and the, the, like, what's available in German cuisine. I am such a big fan of it now, man. So tell me what your favorite German food is. Thanks.